Hey, it's Hunt. You found Hunt on Saints. We're talking black and gold football. Do us a favor. Hit the like button, share your comments below, and hit that subscription button so you can get all of our content. Enjoy. So I saw this quote from Mickey Loomis, and it got me thinking a little bit, as, as quotes sometimes do. And you realize Loomis is, generally speaking, pretty... Uh, tight-lipped. He doesn't say a lot. He's not in front of the media a ton, and even when he is, it's just very kind of cliched and, and pretty vanilla, quite frankly, uh, which is fine. Just do your job. I don't need, you know, fireworks in the press conference. It's great for us, but in terms of doing your job, it, it, it's irrelevant to me. But he was on SiriusXM NFL Radio last week with Solomon Wilcox and Bill Polian, and they asked him about Cam Jordan and whether or not they could get a deal done. He's entering the last year of his contract. You know, what does that look like? And Mickey Loomis said, he's going to be able to play for us for as long as he wants to and as long as he can. Then when his time comes, his name will be up in that ring of honor and Hall of Fame and all those other accolades that come with a player of his stature. And so when I hear Mickey Loomis say Hall of Fame with Cam Jordan, I went, oh, wait, is that a is that a thing? Because like what I like to do with Hall of Fame, regardless of the sport, Whenever I hear a name, I should be able to say yes or no. I don't want to pour through the stats page to try to figure it out. I'd like to just, since now I'm watching the career, see it all, and then go yes or no. That's what it feels like the Hall of Fame should be. And when I hear Cam Jordan, I don't immediately think yes. That had not dawned on me. Saints Ring of Honor, absolutely, freaking lutely No doubt about it. One of the best defensive players in the history of the of the team. No question. But that's a that's a different story than the Hall of Fame. So my gut reaction is is to say no. So now I just have to go to the stats. And the stats might tell another story. Cam Jordan's number 32 all time. He's got 115 and a half sacks. That is, in fact, one more than J.J. Watt. One more than J.J. Watt. Now, J.J. Watt, Defensive Player of the Year in the league multiple times, All-Pro multiple times, you know, is probably a little more decorated in terms of honors and accolades, but in terms of production, more than J.J. Watt. And the other piece to that is that J.J. Watt was kind of hurt a lot, especially late in his career. And Cam Jordan's basically the Iron Man. He played in 172 straight games until the COVID game got him, which is unfortunate to say the very least. So if you take out the COVID game, he had played 197 of 198 before he had that eye thing in the Pittsburgh game this year where he got poked in the eye and it broke a bone. And Cam Jordan wanted to play. That's what he does. He shows up to work and he wants to play. But the doctor said, look, man, take, take it down a notch. You're not playing. I know you got this streak. I know you're the Iron Man. I know you're out there and available every single Sunday. But we're not playing through a fractured eye bone. Okay? So we had to sit for a game. But that's maybe more impressive than having one more sack than J.J. Watt and having 12 more sacks than Aaron Donald. What's more impressive is that he always plays. That is Cam Jordan's greatest attribute, is that he's consistently reliable to show up every Sunday, set the edge, rush the passer, and be the heartbeat of the Saints defense. Some other guys have come and gone. He's been steady and consistent. So I think with eight Pro Bowls to his name, with one All-Pro, and on the Hall of Fame's All-2010s team, there's some consideration there. And he'll certainly be on a ballot. And that's not something I, I think I would have said as of, you know, four hours ago when I started looking at this. I still think he's short. Because, I mean, one All-Pro... And Pro Bowls are so watered down because guys don't go and then you name half the league to the Pro Bowl because nobody wants to show up to it anymore. So the eight Pro Bowls probably don't hold as much weight to me. I'm looking at those all pros 
And I think that's, you rack three or four of those up all of a sudden. Now, yeah, you're, you're right there. I think with just one, I can't quite get to Cam Jordan Hall of Famer. But he's not done yet. And I think his level of production is going to be important to the Saints team as they overhaul that defensive front, which was aging and was not as good last year. And you look at Cam and what he's been the last couple of years, even as he begins to age into his 30s, he's been really productive the last couple of years. He's there every Sunday, and he's rushing the passer at basically a Pro Bowl level. Last year, he made 40 solo tackles, 66 combined stops. He had eight and a half sacks coming off a 12 and a half sack year. That's 21 sacks for the last two seasons. Now, I've said this a few times. I would be surprised if Cam Jordan had 21 sacks over the next two seasons. But he's basically been a double-digit sack guy most years. His first rookie year, just one. But then his second year, becomes kind of a full-time player. Eight sacks then 12 and a half, and he's gone double-digit sacks one, two, three, four, five, six times in his career. He's entering his age 34 season. You figure maybe three more years. Is that too much, getting up to 37? All of a sudden, you throw another 20 sacks on there in three years, which would be nice. Now, all of a sudden, you've got 135 sacks for your career. Okay, now we can really start having the conversation. And it's just, I just had not considered that whatsoever. 100%. Saints Ring of Honor, put his number up there, all good. Hall of Fame? It's not the Hall of Very Good. The Hall of Fame. The elites, the greatest players to ever play the sport. You throw 20 more sacks more than J.J. Watt on the board, I'm going to have to take that pretty seriously, right? So I think that's something I'll be paying attention to over the next couple of years. Yeah, you want the Saints to win. You want the team to be good. You're not concerned about individual accolades as much. But as Cam Jordan's career starts to wind down here, I think it's interesting to start thinking about him in terms of being in the Hall of Fame. And I'm with Mickey Loomis as far as keeping him around. I just watched my team, the Cubs, allow the heartbeat of their franchise, Anthony Rizzo, who was there through the greatest, just allow him to walk. And I think there's benefit to having veterans who know the, know the team, know the organization, are first class in representing it and affecting it positively every single day, which he does. There's benefit to that. And you bring in a, a first-round draft choice like Brian Brzee. And he's got an example to follow. Brian Brzee ought to be attached to Cam Jordan's hip every second Jordan is in that facility. You want to learn how to play on the defensive front, have a long career, be a positive influence on the team, be a productive player? There aren't many better examples of that in the league. And I think that's really, really important. So I love that the Saints are going to prioritize that. They're not just looking to cut bait, move on. Now, if the guy, you know, is a, a stiff out there and can't play, that's one thing. Obviously, that's not the case with Cam. But I'm I'm thrilled to hear Mickey Loomis say that he can play there just about as long as he wants. Because he's such a positive, positive force on that Saints team. And I think there's a chance he could be an NFL Hall of Famer. Put a few more numbers up there. Probably not going to be an all-pro at this point, so we're going to have to accumulate some sacks. I'll be paying attention to that as the fall rolls on. Hey, it's Hunt. Thanks for watching Hunt on Saints. Before you leave, help us out a little bit. Hit that like button, leave your comments in the section below, and hit that subscribe button so you get all our content right here from Hunt on Saints. We'll see you next time.